Top lane in Bizbam. Boast Shadow Blade it up. He wants to go for Boast. He'll get the Echo Slam after in the Static Storm. A Boast in a Damage. lot of trouble here. The Mantis will be popped. They keep Not him inside enough. the storm. He turns around and now blink out. They'll glimpse him back, but you really want to fight against a Boast? Another Enchant Totem hit. A Boast juking through the trees. Has another blink. Going to look for the TP. Blind Fissure not available, oh. and a Boast will retreat. Pick off on Havost is going to be the biggest thing, or a pick off on like two other heroes okay. while Havost is not in a good split push pushing position. It has to be the right amount of kills and the right hero kills at the right time. It's a lot to ask for. Funic also, I mean, needs to not die for Empire to have a chance in this game. He's going to shard the hill. Oh, Glimpse back. Havost might be in a little bit of trouble here. Echo Slam held in place. They have the Agnum Static Storm. Havost is he taking enough damage. I don't missing. think so. They Dyer's just can't kill him off. They needed somebody else there, and that's somebody else's Pycat as he comes in with the Shadow Blade. Resolution is down towards the south. Fissure oh, is him. going to catch out Havost. He's not TPing, though. He has another blink. TP Dyer's out. Back to Uniqua. He's going to catch Havost. He does have another blink in one second. Can he get a live oh, mana point? He's fighting them, but not well enough. Sonic Wave, they'll get one in return, and now Resolution's shown his position. He has another blink soon. Oh, he found Bambo! Down. He gets the Earthshaker <laughs> kill gem on the deck, but Resolution trying for the DP out! They don't have vision? Ooh, he got away! Oh, get it. Are oh. you kidding me? What the hell is going on in this game? <laughs> what a mess. Hi-Cat fluttering forward is going to spot out Funic. Is that in range for a glimpse back? Looks like no one is just yet. Vision is going to be given to Pycat at least to some extent. Pycat's walking alone in the river right now. He's going to get jumped by a boast. Immediately misses all of his attacks. Pycat will be silenced, but he has his BKB, and I don't really know if he cares about the silence to begin with. In the back line, Sack's in a lot of trouble. He will survive for a little while longer, but now Exclaim onto a boast. Pycat is going to get cursed out of his Requiem right now. Pycat will, will not take any damage from that. He's not going to cast Requiem. Just yet. He's going to turn around to try to wail on the boast as they get back to back into a wall resolution. He's going to try to get away from this one, and Pycat can't even move. He has to fight up against a boast, but no one's really taking that much damage from that exchange. It's only Bambo to die right now, though. There's a snowball. I think that's the Tusk, and he's gonna go right into a field right now. Resolution needs to blink out, but he can't quite get it off. Pycat will Requiem do so much damage to Avos, but he will die in the end. Now it's gonna be Nikwa to fall, and EGM, he's gonna try to run, but it's not gonna happen. Avos is gonna grab a triple kill, double gems on the deck. It's a four for two exchange, and now the doors are wide open for Empire to go for Raxblade. The double walls in these fights have been pretty darn crazy, too. It really feels like Empire is starting to pick up momentum. They actually do get a stun onto Avos from the maxed out Poison Touch. Oh, here comes EGM, oh, no. blown sky high. Oh, now he's going on to the next kill, bash on the sacks, a double for Hubbost, and now straight into the melee and range barracks also. Force the L have not a single buyback, Bambo's up in five seconds. They're gonna lose two lanes. Always scan this. This is a small glimmer of hope for four CNL, but this game feels very close to out of reach. As much as we've been talking about most resolution is also quietly farmed up as they blink forward, silence up onto EGM. Sonic Wave is not gonna clip onto the disruptor, but they will be able to bring down Sex. So the disruptor is gonna throw down his static storm pretty good, but not good enough. Winter's curse is the echo sense onto the back lines, vacuum three under the wall, but the foam up is there enough damage? I don't think so. It's just the resolution and both show as they go for Pike. A boast fight. The Shadow Fiend with Satanic is going to live a little while longer, but the Bash is a boast. is unstoppable, and he truly is. He'll be able to bring down three heroes completely answered, even though Winter Wyvern is still chasing forward for Bambo. When Enchan told him hit Bambo, he wants it. He has the Aegis, so that's at least something for them, but this is going to be Mega Creeps for Empire. That's GG. The Shadow Fiend has no buyback. A boast is at full HP, and Empire, they can just put everyone on the front lines right now. Bambo may get a snipe on No Fear, but honestly, that's fine. No Fear has already done his job and then some. All the building that Four Clover side will fall. Oh, they're also gonna cast Sexy Bambo. One more for the road. Oh, Timor actually, because he has the Aegis. Can you blink out of here, Earthshaker? Yes. Uh, to what end? Because you're blinking towards the boat, so that's not really where you want to go. He's going to get a little help from Nico, but Nico actually doesn't have that much, except for a vacuum and a sheep sing right now, which we will use on the anti-mage. Vacuum back and cool, but Pycat's going to call it 45 minutes in. This is an anti-mage game through and through for Empire, and four clovers are unable to break the high ground in time. You know, a lot of people had doubts about Havos standing in for Empire and playing with him throughout this tournament, but I think he's put throughout the group stage, and especially in this game, all of those doubts to rest. A very impressive performance coming out from him, but even more so, I think for